Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at two coolers, the Heat Lane and the Kama. What's included in the FCS50 Heat Lane CPU cooler is the necessary materials needed for installation on the socket 370, 462, 478, 754, 939 and 940. They also include an installation guide, some thermal compound and the cooler. And what's included with the Kama CPU cooler is some thermal compound, the necessary materials needed for installation on the socket 478, 754, and 940, and the cooler. At first glance, this cooler certainly looks a lot different than anything else currently on the market. First of all, it's quite large at 98 by 104 by 111 millimeters. It comes with an 80 millimeter fan. This fan spins from 1,300 all the way up to 4,600 RPMs using this included rheostat. This gets installed in your computer's expansion slot. The fan also has a four pin power connection. You can also connect it into the motherboard's fan header to monitor the speed on the fan. The heatsink not only has fins that go vertically, but also horizontally. It's all aluminum and has a thick, solid, base which is very smooth and that will allow great contact between it and the CPU. Now let's just get back to these vertical and horizontal fins. What's all that about? Well you can understand here the vertical ones. They come right off of the base. You can see where that would dissipate heat. But what are these doing horizontally? Well there are two heat lanes which come up from the base here and go into these fins that will transfer heat also away from the base into these fins and of course the fan right here will help blow all that hot air away from the heat sink. This is along the lines of a regular looking cooler. It comes with a 70 millimeter fan. This fan spins at 2850 RPMs at a very quiet 24 dB and it has a three pin power connection and the fan also blows this way down not up. It comes with a solid copper heat sink number of vertical fins right here coming off this very thick smooth solid copper base and this base will allow great contact between it and the CPU. The overall dimension on this product is 98 by 73 by 65 millimeters and it weighs in at 575 grams. And now have a listen to the fan as I increase it from 1300 RPMs all the way up to 4600. Now have a listen to the fan on this cooler. Both of these coolers do offer great performance, but I would not recommend either of these if you're overclocking. The FCS50 has the heat lane technology built into it that does work quite well, and that cooler fits just about every socket that's currently available. Now the Kama cooler, well that's pretty much a standard cooler for the most part, but again the results on it are quite good. That standard all copper heatsink with a nice smooth thick solid copper base still works quite well. Overall both of these products are great. 
Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop on my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find a lot more on both of these products in the forum. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please help support 3dgameman.com. Until next time, take care.